does this happen? How does he crash the gate and get into a jet? You know, they're not prepared for this, obviously. Employees said they saw him doing several donuts around an airplane and driving down the runway before parking in a small jet. Co yep, Cody's high. And <laughs> there's no question Cody's f***ing high. We'll get you help, buddy. Nobody wants to hurt you. Can I take a sh first? <laughs> Cody's on something. There's no question about it. Keep in mind, this all started over cigarettes. I guarantee you this is a first for these officers. They've never had a situation like this. Certainly not in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Come out! Allah Akbar! Oh, I'm sure these guy, cops are thinking, what the f***? Allah Akbar. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. Well, who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what'd he do? And he's gonna react to all the self-snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, your very own personal, when I say personal, I mean you, your very own personal board-certified criminal defense lawyer, coming to you with my Elvis Presley postage stamp cufflinks, and we also have behind the camera our content genius that you know is Michael Rivers. Today we're reacting to a man attempts to hijack an airplane by crashing through the airport gate, and it's brought to you by Code Blue Cam. And so give them some love. They, they do some good work. But before we get to this video, it's brought to you by eForms.com. eForms.com is a very effective way to avoid expensive, arrogant, completely uh, ridiculously expensive lawyers like me. Uh, I'm not arrogant. At least I try not to be. Uh, but in any event, it is expensive to hire me to do things. But if you can get yourself legally protected in any kind of situation where you need a document... For example, if your grandmother is trying to buy an airplane and you know she's going to put, you know, put a down payment on it, but she can't afford the rest, it's just so you want to take power of attorney over your grandma because she's living in your basement eating Cheetos, doing OnlyFans for her feet. Well, guess what you do? You do uh, you go to eforms.com and you get the power of attorney done. Or if you have a bill of sale or any kind of agreement that you need, any kind of like a rental agreement, any kind of form you need legally to protect yourself. You can get it on eforms.com and avoid the high-priced lawyer like me. All right, so let's just get into this. You know, i um, not sure what this is about, but we'll see. But it sounds like it's going to be fun. On November 11th, 2023, police responded to a theft complaint at a local gas station in La Crosse, Wisconsin. 31-year-old... Now, keep in mind, there's no nowhere to fucking run in La Crosse, Wisconsin. You go north of town, it's farms. You go south of town, it's farms. You go east or west, uh, everything is farms. And guess what? You, you take, these are all country roads. So you take off on a country road, you can see that car for miles. So it, it, so we're starting off on a wrong foot already. year old Cody Anderson stopped by to pick up some cigarettes. Due to him not having his ID, they were unable to sell it to him. In response, Cody decided to snatch the cigarettes from the employee and fled the store. Okay, let's just start there. Now listen to what the title is. The title is Man Attempts uh, to Hijack an Airplane, and we start out with cigarettes. <laughs> what a fucking moron. Cody, um, my guess is Cody was on something when he was trying to get cigarettes for free. <laughs> Hi, Josh. Hello. How are you? Kim got his license plate. Basically what happened is he came in, he wanted to buy two cartons of cigarettes. And I said, can I see your ID? Because he looked younger. Yeah. I didn't recognize him. He goes, I don't have my ID. I'm like, I'm sorry, I cannot sell them to you. And he's like, I'll do anything. What do you want? How much is it going to cost? What do you want? I'll do anything. I'll even blow you. I mean, for cigarettes. Tell me he's not jonesing for something. I said, I can't sell them to you. He like grabbed them from my hands and took off running out the door. So I started chasing them and then I'm like, crap. No. All right. So you take would be uh, just buying a couple cartons of cigarettes and you turn that into a felony robbery. Tell me Cody's not on something right now. I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> Adrenaline was flowing, yeah. and so I said, I'm calling the cops. Well, then Tony said he did drop a $100 bill out there. I can bring him up on video. All right, well, if he dropped a $100 bill, then, you know... He's got the money, so why would you do that? Why would you Why would you rob a store, 
for cigarettes. When you have the money and all you need to do is go back and get your ID or have somebody else in the parking lot buy the cigarettes for you. Not 100 bucks. Oh, I have no idea what does it cost. It's like 200. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Do you have any video of the yes, guy? Don't yeah, don't get her first. Mary's reaching for the cigarettes. Mary grabbed them. There we go. <laughs> now remember, there's cameras everywhere these days, especially when you're at a um, uh, at a filling station or a gas station. That's the chase after all. <laughs> I'll see if I can identify him and you know him come back and pay for the rest. And okay. Still charge him whatever. But... Okay. All right. Thanks. thanks Jeff. About 25 minutes later, Cody decided to up his rampage to the max level and rammed his vehicle through a locked gate at the La Crosse Regional Airport. An employee said they saw him doing several donuts around an airplane and driving down the runway before parking at a small jet. Co yep, Cody's high. <laughs> There's no question Cody's fucking high. Cody then brandished a knife towards an employee before boarding the private aircraft where several crew members were present. All right, so what do we got? We got robbery of the store. We got uh, destruction of property. We've got um, breach of security at an airport, which would probably be a federal offense. And we've got uh, assault with a deadly weapon. Cody, can you get in any more fucking trouble? <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I'll call you later. Somebody drive. Cody's not intoxicated. Cody's fucking high. <laughs> on the airport, I guess. I know for once. Yeah. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> He just got on top of the jet. He closed the door. He did brandish a knife at me. Like. He got on the jet? He got on the jet. How does this happen? How does he crash the gate and get into a jet? You know, they're not prepared for this, obviously. This is a small town, small town airport, and, uh, you know, we're not used to this, right? I don't know where I copied that. He also did a uh, display of knife. And I believe he's going to be my theft suspect from Quick Trip Magic Vehicle. Upon arrival, a crew member advised Cody had powered the jet on and it was ready to. Cody powered it on and he's ready to. Well, probably, hopefully for them, that Cody doesn't know exactly what he's doing. He further stated he could only open the door once from an outside switch. You want a taser? Okay. Well, let's wait. So we get enough people here. Well, he's got a knife. Oh, he can... else is on a plane? No, but he has access and he has it powered up. Can you shut it off from here? No. As he was seen in the cockpit holding a knife and it was unsure if he could fly a plane, they decided to open the door. Did he bust through the gate? Yeah, go right through it. He actually just sold it two cartons. He's up in the window. Come out. He's putting his shit on. Hey, hey open, the door, door, open, the door, open the door. door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Are you expecting good decisions from Cody at this point? Probably not. Not only is he now, you got the assault with a deadly weapon, you got the uh, destruction of property, you got the burglary or robbery, and now you've got hijacking an airplane. Well, welcome to federal court, Cody. <laughs> come out, bro, come out. Nope, nope. Get out now. I'm gonna beanbag him. Get out now. Open it again. I'm going to beanbag and come down. I don't have another cartridge. Come out now. Show me your hands. Hey, you have another taser cartridge? Show me your hands now. I've been practicing. Come here. Cody said he's been practicing. Well, that should make us just back off. Come here. Show me your birthmark. Well, cross, please. Show me your hands show now. Me your I'll take lethal cover. Let's move this way. Yeah. Move this way. So we don't cross. You got lethal? Please, department. Come out now. I can't see him from there. Cody seems to want to see the officer's birthmark. I'm not sure exactly why. But um, clearly he's got a screw loose. I can see him over here. Although they were able to hit Cody with one beanbag round, he continued to hold the knife and ignore orders. Come on now. Want to see something in there? So here's the deal. If he gets that door closed, they, they must be have a switch. They must have a switch where you can only trip it once. And so they can't open it again if he gets it closed. I'm going to sneak up and we'll see it. The door's open. I'm going to back up, Josh. Nobody else is on the plane. Come on, with your hands up. Do it now. 
Taser and OC deployed. He's still uh, in the plane, refusing to come out. He's got it uh, turned on. Just playing the knife. So jet engines are very powerful. So if all of a sudden he fires up those fucking engines, everybody's in harm's way. Wait Police fire, come on now! I will cut you. I'm a suicide bomber. You're under arrest. I'm a suicide bomber. You know, a lot of times people do that. They get suicide by cop itis, and they think somehow that the cops will kill him. I've had situations where that has happened, and I couldn't believe how remarkably restrained the cops in my case uh, were, but they were white. My client was white. Come out! Allah Akbar! There is no vehicle. Allah Akbar, he's, he's, come on, man. Oh, I'm sure these guys, cops are thinking, what the fuck? You know, Allah Akbar. Don't vehicle button. I don't know saying Allah Akbar and that he's a suicide bomber. Come on with your hands up. Do it now, sir. We just want to talk and see what's going on. Come on. We just want to talk. You know, hey, come on. Let us help you. <laughs> You're not going to go to jail. No. Come on with your hands up. Do it now, sir. We just want to talk and see what's going on. Come on. All right. Come down here. We'll talk, okay? I'm going to cut my wrist. Sir, step up. So he's suicidal. He's gonna cut his wrist. He's gonna end his life. Don't don't force don't force it. Yep. He was he was just coming. Canine. I don't okay. feel deployment there. Or not, but... uh, I don't know with the knife. I know. Do you guys uh, have any uh, other gas options? I guarantee you, this is a first for these officers. They've never had a situation like this. Certainly not in La Crosse, Wisconsin. In there, barricaded with a knife. Um, can you step out and talk to us, please? Drop the knife. He's got the knife in his right hand. Drop the knife. Left hand. Left hand. Sir, we don't want to hurt you. Just come out. We want to talk. No one wants to hurt you. Sir, drop the knife and come out. Sir. Sir. If he moves across that door, bag him. Yeah. Watch your step out of the car and we'll talk, okay? What's your name, bud? Bag him. Bag him again. Bag him again. Bag him again. Did he drop the knife? I can't see it. I can't tell. I no, can't it's still in his hand. Still in his hand. Drop. What you're seeing here is is a good example of force continuum. The force continuum is is. A, you know, the, the type of forces that it, the cops use in any given situation. You start out with, like, verbal. You start out with, uh, and then you go to physical, non-lethal, lethal, you know. What I, I, I'm not saying exactly what the whole force of continuum is. But it it is the escalation of force only to that which is necessary. I can't see it. I can't tell. I no, can't it's tell. still in his hand. still in his hand. Drop the knife! Oh, pull us, pull us, pull us. Cody, just come out, man. I'll make a deal. I'll give up the U.S. government plans. Somehow, Cody thinks he's in a position of strength to negotiate. Um, he's mistaken. Sir, come out. You won't be hurt. Just come out. We don't want to hurt you. He's right to the right. The yeah, when he, when he crossed the door, he bagged bagged him. Hit him good, but he still got the knife. Keep in mind, this all started over fucking cigarettes. And who, who knows why or, you know... He decided to do what he's doing. He's been tased and all seed and he's still refusing. Is it Cody? Yeah, you can see his reflection right there. Cody, come out! Oh, like a hunting knife, probably an eight inch blade, straight blade. We're not gonna hurt you if you come out with your hands up, nothing in them. We'll get you help. Come on out, Cody. Nobody wants to hurt you. I just want you to come out with your hands. I had a case where my client was running from the cops and then he, he rolled his vehicle and he was trapped in his car and you can hear my client say come on guys come on because <laughs> they were like yelling at him hard you know it sounds like this you know cody's like cody just sounds distressed honestly hands up you gotta drop the knife and come out with your hands up they can only keep the door open but he can fucking fly this thing if that if that they can only keep the door open but he can fucking fly this thing if that if that door closes if you know how that's what they said. Nobody oh else on the plane. Cody, I need you to comply. I don't think there's any other. Come out with your somebody. hands up, please. No knives. Let's see if there's any other door. Cody, what's going on? He didn't say that. You got in there and the batteries right away, so you can see what he's doing. Call outside. We'll call. So it seems to me that they have to hold onto that button in order to keep the door open. Because once that door is closed, I guess it can't open again. Except for from in the inside. Cody, we're not gonna shoot you if you come out. Show us your hands first. Come out. Is there any other access? Drop that knife by the stairway so we see you don't have it. Then put your hands up. Cody, just slowly show us your hands and step out. We'll get you help, buddy. Nobody wants to hurt you. 
can I take a shit first? <laughs> Cody's on something. There's no question about it. But when you have a knife, a knife can be very lethal, in especially in close quarters like that. That's why they're being really careful. They don't want to hurt him, and they don't want to get hurt. Oh, you just come out. We'll, we'll let you. We'll let you do that out here. Come on, man. Let's just get this over with. Come on out. Take. Keep your hands up. Keep them empty. You hungry? We'll get you some food. We'll get you something to drink. What do you think about more OC? What's that? More OC. Cody, we come on. Have, uh, the 40 mic mic in the... Okay. In the bear cat. Just so we don't have any sympathetic. You're gonna try to bag him if he crosses that door again? Yes. Okay. After some time of negotiation, he threw the knife oh, onto man. the top step of the plane. Hands up, hands empty, Cody. Just step out here. Promise not to shoot. We will not shoot you. We will not hurt you if you come out with your hands up empty. Thank you. You just threw something else too. Yeah. It's on the top okay. step. All right, let's see your hands, buddy, and just walk out. Oh, you just come out? Keep your hands up, buddy, okay? The Bearcat armored vehicle then arrived and was positioned in front of the plane to prevent it from taking off. Drop come on, sir. Drop it. Just drop it. drop it. That was, that was, I'm surprised it took him, however long it took him to get that done. That would have been the first thing I would have done. Well, they probably just had to wait for, but you know, you could have parked a fire truck, but keep in mind, this is La Crosse, Wisconsin. I mean, it's not your major metropolitan airport. Although you would think that there would be a fire truck nearby because it is a, it's not a tiny town, but it's, it's pretty small. So see your hands. Come on, bud. Just your hands. Drop it. Hands, Drop hands, it. hands, hands. Drop it. Show us your hands now. Another taser. Drop it now. To the left. Right. Go up with the go up with the shield if you're gonna tase him. Cody, you gonna tase him? Stop, 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 stop. Cody, come here. Slow us down here. Slow it down. Cody, where are you from? I don't like them. I don't like them. How do we end up here? You know, Cody's in distress. Cody's high, and um, Cody's in a heap of shit. <laughs> Can you talk to me? What's your plan today? Do you have any explosives with you? What, what kind of explosives do you have? C4? Where did you get that? Government? Cody threatened to blow up the plane using C4 explosives he claimed to have obtained from the government and had a dead man's switch. He also stated he had two handguns. What do you got in your hand? Is that just sunglasses? Hey. Let's stay back by the clock. Zeus is right here. You say you got the bathroom? Let's do dog warnings and well I can't I can't move from here. I'm just down the pavement here. I'm not I'm not gonna get you to see that Yeah, I can see these standoffs are never a good idea because what are you gonna do? You know, I mean what is your end game? You know, there was a guy, I think it was in Alaska, who commandeered um, an aircraft. And it's actually it's comical for a while because he's like, no, nah, I'm just gonna do this and that, I'm doing pretty good up here. And then he, all of a sudden he crashes into the mountain to kill himself. Thank you. He's talking. He's talking. Come on out. If drop, you got everything, hands out. You can come out. We'll back up. Hands free. Hands free. Come on out. We can't let you take a shit, but we can get you to a... He wants to take a shit. We can't let you take a shit, but you can... <laughs> He's really concerned with his fecal matter. Bathroom. We can, uh, can have you come down here, and then we can get you to a bathroom. I can tell you that. There's one right in the hangar. <laughs> Well, it can only back up if you're starting to come out, though, bud. Come on, you're not moving, man. Because I got shot in the leg. Okay, twice. well, we'll get you some help for that, but we got to... Those beanbags actually really hurt. Have you move if we move, okay? Come to the top of the stairs. Come to the top. up, and I'll give you the bomb. Okay, come to the top of the stairs. No. Come on. Does anybody really believe that, that Cody's got a bomb? Nobody believes that. But can you... Act like he doesn't have one? No, you you really got to be careful. And the mere fact that he says I have a bomb, that that adds another layer of criminality to what he's doing. So that is two things. One, for state prosecution, it's uh, terroristic threats. But it's also a very separate and distinct federal crime. No, we're back pretty far, man. Back off, I'll give you the bomb. Well, we backed up, and you didn't come to the stairs. Yeah, you're still within range of the C4, so you didn't really get 
Okay, can't back off that far. We'll take two more steps back if you come to the top of the stairs. Okay, Cody, we're going to throw you a little camera to look at, okay? You can talk to it. All right, it's going to be right in the middle here. According to the staff here, there's not, not anybody else. Cody. I'm not saving the facts of that question. Cody. Cody. Just keep, keep lethal in there, though. Somebody. The feed. And, you know, this is kind of funny because of what he's doing. But it could really end tragically. I mean, it, this could end, you know, very badly for Cody and for any of the other cops. I doubt that he's got any, you know, explosives. But can they act like he doesn't? No. It does have a gun. Come on, Cody. Cody, I can't hear you. You gotta come to the stairs. All shot. Come on out, brother. We'll get you to the bathroom. He What's just that? stole two cartons of cigarettes from Quick Trip. Same suspect. Even clears. That's Cody, yeah. Someone's coming in there right now. I actually just uh, got back to my car from taking the report and they're like, oh, can you clear the truck on the tarmac? The only thing I'm worried about is as soon as he came in, he turned all the batteries on. Yeah, so, like, I think if he wants to, he might know enough to, I don't know if he's like a vet or something, but if he knows how to fly, that's why they got everything here. Well, he can take it in reverse too, can he? Well, I mean, he can turn it and both jets are going to, you know, we're not going to be anywhere nearby if it starts. I can't be. If those engines turn on, this dog's gonna eat him. Yeah. <laughs> We're all going. He says if he turns those engines on, the fucking dog is gonna eat him. In other words, they're gonna let the dog loose and uh, and have Adam. And those dogs bite and they don't let go. I had a guy who had um, he tried to hide from these cops under a car and the dog bit him. And my God, the uh, the marks on the guy's arms were just like through and through almost. We, we, all die. we haven't gotten anywhere. Do you have any yeah, gas cans please. in the back of it? There's a decent jet. Thirty million dollar jet here. I will see it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's better oh. than a stolen one. Uh, well, I know exactly. <laughs> no, he ain't. He ain't getting out. Well, you can go to the bathroom once you get off the plane, but we got to get there first, man. While Cody repeatedly stated his need to take a shit, police went to the back of the plane to disconnect the main battery supply line, effectively disabling the aircraft. Is he still laying down? He's sitting across the pilot seat. That's why you're gonna blow it up. And he sits there and he threatens over and over again that he's gonna blow this shit up. Is he looking here? Well, he keeps claiming he has C4. Are there any? His nearby truck was quickly searched, revealing knives, a stun gun, and 40 caliber ammunition, but no explosives. That's a bullet to this. About 11 days before this, Cody was arrested in a neighboring county after he was caught driving recklessly throughout a cornfield while impaired. He was in the Virgin Jail for a while. Really? Yeah. We hooked him for OWI a couple weeks ago. Oh. He's been... What I'd like to know is what he's um, impaired on. If he's just booze? Um, or if he's on drugs. I, this sounds more like drugs. You know, you don't see people doing this when they're smoking weed, for example. I, mean, I never get a, I never get a case that's, you know, violent or kind of crazy when somebody's smoking weed. Because guess what they want to do? They want to lay back and have some Doritos. <laughs> Sitting, been postponed. For what? Crashing? Oh, the guy. He was doing like burnouts in some farmer's field. He says he has two pistols on him. Yeah, no, he's saying he's got guns on him. So I'll take the back of it here. <laughs> yeah, you got a rifle or? Yeah. yeah, good. Get a good lean on that door and. So he's got ammunition. Is it really a stretch to think that he might have a gun on him? He said he can't, no matter what, he can't turn it off. So that's a win. That's better than where we were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we got to do something. He's on the radio. Got into the airplane. I'm like, what? This is Grand Theft Auto. We, we, we were listening <laughs> we to the start. That. We were like, wait a minute. This is Grand Theft Auto. I mean, this has got to be kind of fun for the cops because it's totally out of the norm. And if he's disabled the airplane, okay, that's, at least we know the engines aren't going to start. Wait a minute, are they talking about a real plane? My dispatch didn't say any of that. They said there was someone driving on a tarmac. Uh, That's what initially came out. Then it came in that he's running on a tarmac, then it's going towards the gate. All right, Cody, I'm talking. Come back up. Sit 30 feet, I'm 30 feet. Yeah, no, no, to the side so the shooters are out of the way. I don't want a fing gun on me. No one's going to have you. No one's going to shoot you. That's crazy. Why? 
Cody, we, we backed up like you asked. It's just me and my partners up here right now. Said we haven't come in, but the camera's got to stay in there. Cody, the camera's got to stay in there. He's my uh, retail theft suspect in the picture. Stole two cards of cigarettes. They didn't give it to him. Sell it to him because he didn't have an ID. So he stole them out of the lady's hands, ran out, threw them in his truck, put a hundred dollar bill. On. At least he put something down. I thought that counts. Yeah, yeah, maybe just a municipal citation. He, he literally like took him out of the clerk's hands and ran out. Why don't we put Zeus and let him to send us? Do you think? <sighs> it was perfect as his head's all the way up against him. His leg is lean right there. Yep. He hasn't, all this negotiation, he hasn't done anything. Like the agency at this point, we're starting to lose out on it because we, we've taken away the ability for the planes to move. We've taken away you know, a lot of different things. So he's kind of going through a checklist of, you know, stuff that would impact the force continuum. It's kind of like a waiting game. Well, apparently, West Salem stopped him like a week ago and he just got out of the Vernon County Jail. I thought I just had him as a theft suspect or for stealing electricity. Put a little uh, OC vapor in there, or a CS. You got him in the back zone. Did come out? Yeah. Without harm. I mean, I know Grant's worried about gas in the plane, but... He's smoking. He's lit up a cigarette. So he had a cigar. A cigar. They're talking about him in the... Uh, who? Air traffic control. Yeah. Oh, they can hear him? Yeah, they can, he can hear him. Oh, he can hear him. Yeah, he can wire. hear traffic control. Cody, you got a wife or kids or anything? Girlfriend? Dog? Not anymore. I don't have a wife or girlfriend because when I do this shit, nobody wants to hang out with me. <laughs> Dog? Cat? Cat and goldfish? <laughs> what kind of animals do you have in your mother's basement? <laughs> Maybe see him go in the plane. Well, staff did. None of us here. He was on when we got here. He kept trying to put the door up, and we kept <laughs> putting it back down. There's two bags there that I searched. Um, found a couple more knives, a little taser, uh, a lot of his medications, um, clothes, stuff like that. A lot of his medications. Is that a surprise? That Cody's on some medications and probably on some other shit? But he had a knife on the plane. He had a knife on nice the plane. He dropped it and the Steve grabbed it. Yeah. Yep. yep. But he's claiming he had another one. It's a picture. Reached the front of a plane window. I wonder if that would take the shooting windows out. Probably be a hell of a lot, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't think that rifle is going to poke straight through there. Yeah. Vernon yeah. County confiscated his gun at that time when he got arrested. They still have it. After 45 minutes of negotiation, Cody no longer responded. A shield team was then deployed and were able to apprehend him without incident. He's not talking anymore. Yeah, you're only gonna let him do this for so long. Now, one of the things that you're gonna have to worry about is that. When he goes to court, are they going to give him a low bail? Probably not, because he's demonstrated a willingness to hop in an airplane and fucking take off. What is that? Risk of flight. And he's also brandished a knife and told him he had bombs. And what is that? Risk of public safety. So I would bet his bond is pretty high. If Cody somehow damages the airplane, or if the cops damage the airplane trying to get after him, that's on Cody. And, you know, Cody's got, I bet you Cody's got no money. You know, I, I'm sure of it. Let's clear the rest quick. Is that a bed? Cigarettes here. There's my stolen cigarettes. Yep. Uh-oh. He brought the cigarettes with him. <laughs> Found my stolen cigarettes. He's my, my uh, suspect in my cigarette. Oh. What good detective work, honestly. That was just amazing. Hey, there you go. Look at that. You guys check for taser probes, too? No, I don't know where they're at. I don't know if they hit them or not. Oh, I got some of them. I just got a f***ed up a straight shot, boys. What? You got it? As a result, Cody caught half a dozen charges, which were felony counts of attempted carjacking, possession of a weapon, attempted armed robbery with threat of force, making terrorist threats, bomb scares, failure to comply, and misdemeanor criminal damage to property. 
Given the nature of the incident, the La Crosse police said that the FBI would be involved in this investigation, which may result in additional charges. Ultimately, his cash bond was set at $500,000. What did I say? I knew his bond would be high because, you know, those are the two things you look at, risk of flight and risk of harm to the public. And he's got, he, I, I would be shocked if he didn't get charged federally. Last but not least, he, he didn't get charged with the cigarettes. So that, that's our, you know, Cody, poor Cody. You know, he, I guarantee you he's probably still in the jail as we speak. You know, to what end do some people commit crimes? You know, that was so dumb, so dumb. And it was just probably, and I can't say it's booze because booze wouldn't cause you to do all that, would it? You know, maybe booze mixed with uh, medications, mixed with uh, mental illness, mixed with just being an overall dumb shit. <laughs> so that's all I got for you on this one. Um, holy crap, I still can't believe this. You know, he, he goes from ripping off cigarettes and leaving a hundred dollars. <laughs> you know, he he was a little shy on the on the fees for the cigarettes or the you know the cash for the cigarettes, but he goes from that to escalating into this and maybe he was trying to commit suicide and you know by cop and and all of a sudden chicken out that could be too so we'll see you next time here on criminal iraqs make sure you and you know who i'm talking about make sure you that's you right there follow us on instagram follow us on twitter uh sign up for patreon and uh, we'll see you next time here on criminal Lo oh don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already we welcome you into the family and the community and make sure you comment. Let us know what you'd like to see and uh, and wish Cody well. <laughs> we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm part of Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my god?